Oh my God. There's nothing like a summer barbecue moment. We are at Santalina. I've had it before, it's so good. Hey you, subscribe. Hey guys, what's up? So before we start in today's video, I just wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsor, which is Noom. <laughs> because it's been really requested. We're doing another what I eat in a day video. I've done a handful of these in the past and you guys really love them. To be honest, I feel like some of the older ones that I did, I was really, really health conscious at that time. Now I still am, but you know, it's hot girl summer. We're trying to live our best life. We're trying to go out with friends and see people now that we can actually like see other people. So I'm not as strict with myself. Honestly, I'm really proud of myself because over the past few years, I've gotten a much healthier relationship with food. I would say about six years ago, I had a really bad relationship with food. I've been very open about the fact on my podcast and even in some of these past videos that I've seen a nutritionist over the past few years who has helped me immensely see food as fuel. And I think that is the number one most important thing. Now I'm totally aware that not everyone has, you know, the resources to talk to a therapist or a nutritionist. But that's why I wanted to partner with Noom on this video because I genuinely love how they have such a different approach to health and fitness. They honestly care about a person's well being. So if you're like me a few years ago who was really struggling with your relationship with food or just trying to be healthier and you kind of need that coach mentality, but you can't actually afford to see a nutritionist or don't have those resources, I would highly recommend Noom. I'm gonna have it linked in the description box. It does cost a little bit of money, but what I love about them is they have such a different approach to health and fitness than any other company really out there because it's not just about tracking your calories and deficit and all that kind of stuff. It is really there because they care about you. Like they care about the person. Even when you sign up, there's a really quick questionnaire that takes so many things into consideration. For instance, even if you live in the country or the city, because that affects your cortisol levels, which affects your stress, which affects how much your body holds on to fat as an energy source. Like there is so much that goes into it. Um, that not a lot of people are talking about, but they really care and use cognitive behavioral therapy behind all of the research and everything. So I really, really recommend it. I'm a huge advocate for mental health. And honestly, I just think that this is a huge part of health and fitness. And it's been a, such a huge part in my own personal health and fitness journey and just learning to love yourself because you are sexy as is and seeing food as fuel has been game changing for me um, as well as therapy because a bitch needs therapy. Mm -hmm. So again, no pressure, but link in the description box as well as all of the meals and food stuff that I eat in this video. Should we go to breakfast? Okay guys, I haven't shown you these yet. These are my favorite protein pancakes. Not to brag, but I make a really good chocolate chip protein pancake. Oh, it's so good. Oh, okay, she a little burnt, she a little burnt. Well. And then throw in a little chocolate chip. Nice little surprise. Oh my God, I look not cute right now. I'm like, don't burn, don't burn. Oh, fuck, I still burnt it. Okay, point being, these are really freaking good. My biggest tips is when you blend it in a blender, really take your time blending it because they'll get more fluffy and definitely spray in between and don't do a super high heat because then this will happen. But you know what? As long as it tastes good, that's all that matters. I swear when the camera's not rolling, I make the most beautiful pancakes ever. And then the second that it's rolling, I'm like, it's like Yeah, I think Ash looks out does. <laughs> We're definitely editing that out. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously you can use syrup, but I love a good blue agave or honey. Oh. And voila, we have our lovely chocolate chip protein pancakes. I definitely only really have these on mornings when I have more time to make them because it can take a little bit and there's a lot of dishes and I hate doing dishes, but especially, you know, a good Sunday morning when I don't have much going on, this is chef's kiss. And obviously you don't have to do the chocolate chips. You can do berries or something. And if you want these to be carbless, you can just leave out the oats, but. Oh my God. Wow. I have these for dinner a lot too. You wanna bite? Yeah. <laughs> oh my pork and God. So good. Not me already almost failing at this video. So obviously I'm halfway getting ready. I literally have one latch on, but Ashley stopped by Alfred. So I had to get a coffee. Lately I've been obsessed with a cold brew with an inch of almond milk and then a lot of stevia that I put in, but mm. anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and we'll see you guys for lunch. Guys, we figured why not have a hot girl summer where we, you know, grill and um, I kind of popped off on the chicken. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cooked the chicken. Yeah. Okay, I'm not Literally. gonna lie, Ashley's the one that grills. You had nothing to do with the chicken. <laughs> 
so for lunch ashley ended up grilling bobbers which i said that the other day and people were like a little bobbers remy like made fun of me kebabs bobbers honestly mediterranean food one of my favorite foods. And it's healthy. There's nothing like a summer barbecue moment, especially last summer. We were barbecuing like every single day for lunch just because it was so easy with all the roommates. Yeah, it felt like like quarantine times mm -hmm. today. So yeah, this is lunch. Whenever Ashley grills, I'll always do the sides and stuff, but I got kind of lazy and I literally just put lettuce and some tomato. And then I put some like cucumbers on the edge. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this to my Noom log. So we have chicken. Okay, right, what else do we have? Tomato, cucumbers, boom, done. Anyways, I'm sweating. I don't know if you can tell, so I'm gonna hop in the pool after this. Comment below what you ate for lunch today. Okay, guys, we got ready. I filmed this intro for the video that you've already seen, and I just down to Celsius because we needed some energy drinks. We're talking about going out to dinner, so we need to figure out where we wanna go, but we'll update you guys very soon. Normally, I would have my snacks, but I ate a really late lunch today because filming this video, it took a long time to film breakfast. I don't think I had breakfast till like noon, so I'm a little behind on my meals, but I normally would have a snack, but I have a feeling I'm just gonna skip the snacks and just do the Celsius. Okay, guys, we just made it to dinner. PK's joined us. What up? TK's very happy because this is her favorite bread on the planet. We are at Santelina. We decided to have a little summer dinner date. Hot Yay! I feel like I'm a little much with these glasses, but I like, kind of love it. But like, thanks, Amazon. <laughs> it gives me like 2,000 likes. That's, that's just the vibe. Oh my. This bread is so good. The flaky salt? Mm hmm I love appetizers so much. I love getting like a whole bunch of little appetizers and then sharing because most of the time I just want like a bite or two of things. But wow. Oh, good, good. Cheers us. Oh, we also got a drink. Cheers. Cheers, wire. Cheers. Lately, my drink that I've been loving is just tequila with water. And then I ask for them to put a little bit of lime juice in it. And honestly, I've been absolutely loving it, so comment below a drink you're loving, alcoholic or non-alcoholic. Okay, I ordered the salmon, had it before, it's so good, and then my favorite thing is this grilled eggplant, it is fire, and then also gonna have some roasted carrots, and I've already stolen probably like five of TK's fries, six, seven of TK's fries. So good. How much would you pay? up people we're back from dinner having some sorbet this is the strawberry and coconut water sorbet guys it's from salt and straw so freaking good i'm just gonna eat this for dessert so good what'd you get mint vegan i'm assuming this is the last thing i'm gonna eat tonight so we'll end the video here thank you guys so much for watching and uh thank you again to noom for sponsoring bye bye I'm here to get what I came for An open invitation to bring slaughter I bring precipitations to clean water Since a teen I was deemed a supreme author You should feel what I came in this game for You could keep your bad bitch in your Range Rover I drew up the blueprint for the takeover Made a couple little flips, now the game over Tell these niggas don't play with me I done seen them switch they plan up from A to